You feel is right. Your feeling is right, but you are not executed in the right way. You got to l make sure the feelings comes out from your sound. You a little like this. Uh, Since Wen Zhou Li came to teach at Cheatham School of Music a year ago, he's had a huge impact on the place. Not very expressive. Mm. Teaching is an art, you know. I, I think it's a, it's a combination, the art of combination of everything, humanity, the scientist, emotions, and uh, the most contradictory things put together, <laughs> yeah, and the complex thing put together. So I, I, that's why I love teaching so much. There are 280 talented young musicians at Cheatham's. Winjo has a class of 11 highly gifted young violinists. He has passionate convictions about how best to develop young talent. I really believe in Great Britain, the talent is there. No doubt about it, the talent is just as good as anywhere in the world. But the reason we don't have international caliber we do have, you know, very small amount, but real, or, or even those uh, small amounts, they were being, at the end, was trained abroad. The reason, it's just simply down to, we don't have proper systematic training. So therefore, the training is the crucial point, particularly at this age group. Can you hear this? Yeah. Okay, can you do that? You are, your sound is like this. Students, they want to learn, so they take, 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 take. That's all they do. I did. Well, I was a student. I want all the teachers give me everything. But that's the way it should be, you know. But eventually we have to teach them how to be appreciative. I tell you, the reason is, can you, can you put on, can you put the bow on string? Let it slide. You hear that? Mm -hmm. Now you're missing this. You do either... You touch it, but you got to go. Yeah. But afterwards, you see, as when you do that, then later you don't put it in. Get into it. No, get into it. Helena is 16 and has been at Cheatham's for six years. Um, I started instantly in September. If I had a better teacher when I was in lower school, I wouldn't have so much to do now. That's better. But don't don't do it again. Don't do that, okay? So if, I'd, if I'd started my technique about four years ago, if I'd really got down to it like I'm doing with Miss Lee now, or if I'd gone to Miss Lee when I was ten, I would be right up there now. That's a shame, really. Because loads of people would. And the standard going to college would be, would really be in competition with all these oriental people that are coming across that are just amazing. Another of Wenjo's pupils, Maria, has been invited to perform in a master class with Israeli violinist Svi Zeitlin. Good. This is the uh, incisive Spanish ry rhythm. Dam, pa, pa, pam, pa, pa, pam. Then come the triplets. Ra, pa, pa, pam, pam. And you should be very careful to differentiate between the two. Both of my parents are very ambitious and I've had an early career in my life and they expected from the very start that I wanted to be a violinist. That's what they wanted me to do. Four years ago when she was 11, Maria left Austria to come and study with Wenjo. When he came to Cheatham's last year, Maria followed him. Very talented, very. Yeah. And she picks up very quickly. quickly you yeah. know, really. Actually, yeah. right away she was doing yeah, it. It's very, yeah. very nice. Yes, very, yeah. very nice. How old, is, yeah. how old is Maria? She's just 15, but a few weeks ago. 15. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Very nice future. 
If she, can, if she continues seriously and d dedicatedly, yeah. she, she can become a terrific violinist. Yeah, yeah. See, Maria is gifted instrumentally, but there is one part of her is not as natural as it should be, is the expre expression. You see, as a musician, particularly for young musicians, what they need to develop is their natural ability to show their emotions. Maria has a lot of emotions, but she feels so uncomfortable to show herself, particularly play the instrument. Okay, ready? One, two, three. A quartet of Wenjo's pupils has got together to compete in the senior school concerto auditions. You're still weak, yeah? He has much more power. Can you match that? Do you hear that? Okay? You see things like that, you should respond to it. You hear this, you should match it. I thought I was matching. No, you, it's emotionally you're very, rather weak, yeah? We could, it wants to come more, more. Could you play by yourself? Yeah. Excellent, yeah? Shows that real stuff in your bark now, shows it in here. Good. Ready? Three, three, four. the way it should be. Wrong. Okay? Okay, now you can do too. Yeah? Okay, right from. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. Still not quite here. This, you need help. Now, what happened? You play. But then he play. So that's what's went wrong. So you make sure. Ready? One, two, three. More accent. They trust you. They open their heart in front of you. If you don't treat sincerely and uh, respectfully and... Uh, you know, seriously, then you could do serious damage, serious damage. But I felt that's one of the most uh, interesting for me is uh, dealing with people, dealing with emotions, because I got to know them so well because they really opens their heart, and I'm asking them to open their heart to me. You can talk to them as a friend, and I think that's the difference with a lot of the other teachers in the school, they don't really take an interest in the pupils like he has in us. So we're like really good friends with him, not just pupils, which I think is, is quite special, it's nice. And he spends so much time and like when other people's here, they sort of have concerts, outside concert mm -hmm. competitions, yet they sort of don't really, a teacher doesn't really sort of make any special thing for them. I mean, for one of Mr. Lee's people has got a big competition, you know, he'll, he'll go with them to the competition and have extra lessons, you know, he'll really make sure, I think that's the key, sort of make sure that all his pupils are prepared for everything. Mm. No one ever goes in for anything sort of unprepared. They often say, if you go to a competition, if they, they are not winning, they feel to be lost. But I don't think that way. When they go to a competition, sometimes they only go to semi-final or even first round they knocked out. But if they played well, if we learn, learn from it, as far as I look at it, they won it. 15-year-old Raki is already a veteran competitor and prize winner. Almost the opposite. She's won a place in the finals of Texaco's Young Musician of Wales. Do you hear a kind of articulation? Yeah. That articulation is... That kind of articulation. Mm. That's what you're looking for. Yeah. At this moment, I see quite a lot of problems. But it's so important for me to point it out something only have results. I want to see results now. In other words, they can practice something, the result can happen in 20 minutes. Then I will say it. Otherwise, I will not say a word. Another thing is I always say as clear as possible, as simple as possible. Do you hear that? Nothing left. But do you hear the emotions? Swing with it, but don't lose here. That's the moment you break people's heart, yeah?
first place this year is our violinist, Raki Singh. He loves it so much when he sees what you achieve. He's so pleased to it. It makes you feel as if you've done it for him as well as yourself, which is very rewarding. We use the competition for our benefit. We, we use it as an aim, a goal, so you, maybe you can get up to a certain standard by then and really see how much you've improved over the course of weeks or months before the competition. And that's where the real, the real kind of aim for me, the aim of the competition is to see how, how much I improved before it. It's not so much going and winning or losing and being upset. I mean, that's not part of it. The concerto auditions are drawing nearer, and Wenjo's rehearsals are becoming more intensive. Do that? Okay, play in front. If you play like that, it's uh, you know, so uncomfortable. When I look at you, it's so uncomfortable. Okay? If I allowed you to take those useless notes out, okay? So what would you like to play? Yeah. Okay, good. Now, with the, those, uh, those uh, embarrassing notes, yeah? But I still didn't, I hear a different way of music <coughs> making with what you played before. Can you play without this, uh, this uh, embarrassing note? If you don't careful, you see, look at it, your bow is already on the fingerboard. If you're still more careful, you'll end up here. Okay, can you really pay attention? You see, you can't, can you, you cannot single sustain one sounding point at all. No. Look at sounding point. Yeah, yeah, make sure sounding point stay, yeah? That's it. I didn't mean, um, bong, bing bong doesn't mean anything. You have to do what you do. Should be, yada di da 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 di da, yang bong, bing bong, yada di da 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 di da, yang bong, bong, bong. You see, Maria, I find that what's lacking is the excitement, energy. The energy in, in your playing. Yeah? Tell me, how, how do you feel about this music? What do you mean? Emotionally, how do you feel about this music? Um, um, I don't really like it that much. No. You know, <laughs> I would suggest maybe you shouldn't play. Yeah. Really shouldn't play. It's not fair on them. But what bothers me is they emotionally are not giving your best, you know, um, excitement to it. The simple reason is you don't feel that much. You don't connect it to it. Now let me ask you, do, do you think you can or you would to do it? Do what? Do you, do, let's say it should be. Get crazy with it. These three is crazy. But come to you, you're so calm, you know. You just tickle it around. Here, they try to, so tired, and you just keep it around here. You know what I mean? It just doesn't go. You can make a choice. Either Stay in the group and play, use your word, even fake it, you fake it. <laughs> okay, I'll fake it. Okay, so fake it. Let us hear some really fire, okay? <laughs> After that rehearsal we had on Friday with Vivaldi, you know, Maria wasn't, wasn't very happy with how things had been going and, you know, she's not, she's not convinced she wants to do, you know, go into a music career anymore and, it's a bit unfair on her to expect her to, you know, commit herself so much to this. And Mr. Lee said it was, you know, it was unfair on the other three of us as well when we were, you know, we were really sort of going out for this. And it's unfair to expect her to try and match that. Which I means she's perfectly capable of doing, but if she's not happy doing it, and you know, there's no point in forcing her to do something like that. So 
Miss Lee said, you know, it was it wasn't a good idea for her to carry on doing it. So we've got got a new first violin now. I've got a week to learn it with her. I don't want to see, you know, produce some great musician violinist and in in their life is complete screw up, you know. This is awful. I mean, I, I would be very upset to see that. I would rather somebody be happy and do not play the violin. I find it hard to perform because I've had a lot of pressure on me from an early age and I just get really nervous when I'm on stage and I, I just don't like it. And the whole pressure of being in a music school and, you know, having control of practice with practice supervisors, I, I just didn't like it. I feel like I'm being forced to do it. I'd rather do it out of free will. One thing I, I hate to do it being as a teacher is teach you like a, a robot. This not have an accent. Then what happened? I made you a something of my plane, you know what I mean? Mm. But do you feel it? I don't know, and you don't know either. When you learn things, don't just imitate. Try to feel it. Learn to feel it. Okay. That's the key, essence. Yeah? Every, remember, all the information I give to you doesn't mean anything unless this information is born in you. Then that means something. Then you can step on it, develop it, because it's yours. If somebody else, if you cannot feel it, but you hear it, then you will imitate. You only can do as good as your imitation. You're, you have a goal now. That accent, maybe you're good at imitating. You, uh, imitates perfect, like yeah, that. But if I try to feel the same way as you, then I'll just be imitating your feelings anyway, so it won't make any difference. There are a lot of difference. There are a lot of difference. Okay, I tell you, very good question. I tell you what's the difference, yeah? Now, feelings is totally different matter. I'm, I should tell you here, I should feel very graceful very jokey. If you don't feel jokey, you feel very serious, then I say you've got to feel jokey. If you feel it jokey, then it's right. Why? Because composer told you you're supposed to feel jokey. <laughs> you got it? But when you feel jokey, yeah, then you, the way you do the joke, joke, it's very different with what I do. But both ways are very, you know, funny and very graceful. Then it's, it's successful. Mm. Feeling is something you're chasing for. The way you do it can be varied. Mm. You got the point? Yeah. Yeah? Okay? So, try, try it again. My goals have increased so much over the past few months. and. I can see myself improving a lot more than I used to. It's really, really inspirational. You're so serious. You're going to... <laughs> say, okay, Mr. Lee, you tell me to do that. Fine, I show you. <laughs> no, no, no. Have fun with that, could you? Do you know where, where plays the really tricks? It's dum rum ba da ya da 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 rum ba da The timing as well. Listen. rum ba da ya da 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 rum What's happening? Oh my god. Oh, okay. oh no. <laughs> Being a teacher, one of the most rewarding thing is I felt I got to know you all and I feel that we become a friend and uh, we can share a lot of things together. 
this is just the beginning, yeah. I always believed that's why the music is so great. It's, a, you know, all about these kind of humanity and feelings and the love and uh, giving, all of things like that. Okay? I really appreciate this, okay? Thank you very much. <laughs> Maria has decided to leave Cheatham's at the end of the summer term. She's going home to Austria to an ordinary school. How about you guys now? Anybody would like to? Well, um, the sound was okay for most of it, but I thought the hell no, you were quite bright compared with everyone else. I, I think that came mainly from your bowstring. You were a lot quicker in your action than everyone else was. And I just thought that there could have been a lot more Magnus and Gerald. Mm -hmm. I thought it was yeah, more like competition between you two. Yeah, it's because you're standing, standing further like away. That. You need yeah, to compensate. Like yeah, we can hear Helena very clearly. I find that what they said is just right. Everything a little sort of blocked in. Sometimes uh, even you, you guys, uh, uh, a little you know, get bored with it somehow, some part. It's uh, too serious, you know. I mean, whole thing has to come much more alive. I sometimes imagine if these talents can be trained properly, the, the level would be totally different. In a whole country, the level would be so different because it's like um, if your water goes up, the boat goes up as well. So, therefore, if basic level is being high, the, 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 the top ones, professional ones, will be so much higher. So, that's the fundamental thing. So, therefore, we have a very crucial task in front of us is how we can make this point across to this whole violin study field, make people aware and be a professional violinist. It's not just have fun, it's a, a professional study. There are a lot of bitter exercises, bitter hard work put into it. But the fun, the interest, the um, you know, yeah, the challenge itself become a kind of fun. The day of the concerto audition finals. We had a fantastic day of playing, but that was the one which had such freshness and such sense of joy in the playing. It was just unadulterated pleasure. We sat there smiling a lot of the time. They were uninhibited, they were sparking each other off, they were relating with each other. Lovely ensemble chamber music sense, and also they played like virtuosos. Music School returns next Sunday on 4 at 7.30.